This is a call to arms. Cast off your current self and be more. Here we go, guys. Arm series of the MFT-28. This is your morning mass workout for your arms. Blowing the buys, the tries, and the forearms out. The way it's broken down, guys, is seven supersets. Three for buys, three for tries, one for our forearms. It's gonna be three sets for each exercise of these supersets. And by the way, some are tri sets, man. I hope you got a good night rest, man, because you're gonna need it. Our rest interval in between these guys, about 90 seconds in between each set of each exercise. Rep count, guys, failure plus three if you got a partner. Dead failure if you're on your own, guys. Get ready for the war. A bad Here, we're going heavy, starting it off strong. Before you get to this point, guys, when you get to the gym, you gotta warm your body up. We're here to get stronger, not injured. How do you warm up? Break a little sweat, maybe on the treadmill or something like that. Grab some bands, some light weight. Just warm those muscles up. Let them know who's working today. Dust them off and get them ready for action. This first exercise, guys, bicep superset. We're gonna start with a straight bar, standing barbell curls, right? Right after that, we're gonna come back to our easy curl bar with a band on it, I call them the band of curls. Let me talk to you about biceps real fast. Two main functions to the bicep. One is to curl, to lift up, right? The other one is to rotate. In the bicep itself, there's two heads. There's a short head and a long head. How do we activate them? Different grip placement. We're on a straight bar. If we're inside shoulder width, we're hitting the short head, the outside head. If we're outside shoulder width, we're hitting the long head of the bicep. Let's get it on, here we go. Shoulder width, right here, neutral grip, dead shoulder width, straight bar. So bring it back here, in control, bring it up, exhale. As we bring it up, guys, exhale. As we come back down, inhale. I don't have a rep count in my head. Rep counts, I'm coming here, I'm gonna do eight and everything else. That mentally messes you up. Because if you come here and say, I'm gonna do eight, once you hit eight, you won't hit nine. Failure is my set, plus two, plus three, if I have a partner on different heads of the bicep. Right away into the next set. Notice they're already set up. Minimal time wasted in between sets, that's imperative. You don't come in here and then set it up, you're wasting too much time. Right now, because we're in neutral grip right there, we're shoulder width. Now we'll come inside shoulder width on the easy curl bar. Bring it up, a little bit off balance right there. Curl it up, back down. I like to make it offset. Why? If I curl it up, it's off balance. What is that going to do? Oh my god, all of a sudden, I'm curling it, but it's a little bit different. The weight's getting progressively heavier as I bring it up. Not only am I working my biceps, but I'm working my abs. That sounds good. It's getting more out of my time. More effective, more efficient. That's one set, guys. We have three of them to do. The next time I do this, instead of being loaded on the right side of my foot, I'll switch up to the left. Maybe on the third one, I put my feet together in the middle. Keep changing it up. Always keep the biceps guessing on what's going on. Moving on to the next, here we go. There's three priorities you must know on any rep of any exercise. And these are the priorities that must be in order for a successful rep. One is a form. Two is the speed and three is the weight. In that order, my friends, in that order. You come in here, your form will get you to grow faster than anything else. That's your fastest path to success, the form. You never jeopardize a form. The second thing is the speed. If you're in here just going as fast as you can, there's not much time, stress on the muscle group. You're not getting much out of that. If you go slower, you get 10 times more out of the time spent. Now that's being smart, that's being efficient. The last is the weight. Don't come in here with some ego, guys. Ego is your worst friend. Check that motherfucker at the door. It will kill you in here. You're lifting for yourself, not for anybody else that's around. If you're lifting for them, it will ruin your set, guys. You lift for yourself. You come in here with your mission at hand, no one else's.
skull crushers. We're gonna grab that, that grip right here. Bring it over our head. We're gonna sit down on the bench. When we sit down, guys, you know, I see a lot of guys doing this and they put their head right here. Well, if I put my head right here, my hands can only go from here to here, you know? But if I push my head back, man, look at that. Now I can get a deeper range of motion. Coming down right to the forehead and then back up. Notice my elbows, they're not coming back forward or up. They stay locked. The upper part of the arm, it doesn't move. It's just a forearm down to the crown of your head, your forehead, and then back up. Again, your reps here, guys. You're going to failure. Isolate that mother and grow it. All right. Let's go one more. Right away, coming down to the bottom of our chest and then pressing it back up. Close grip pressing. Working the inner core of our chest and also the trifecta, the triceps. You feel that heat, man. Roll over to the ground right here. But you're not taking a break, guys. You're off the ground, see? Toes, whole body's off the ground. Put some of our elbows and our toes. From here, our hands pressing forward, coming right up, they're called body ups. From here, these aren't easy, man, especially when you're already burned out. Come back down. Alright, I'm hitting the failure here right now, guys. That's good. Let's say I want to go a little more. I got no one here to help me. So we do a negative set. How's that look? I'm gonna pop up. I'm gonna lower myself down slow. I'm gonna pop back up. Lower myself down slow. Pop back up. Lower myself down slow. Hit everything I got out of the muscle, man. Leave it all here. When you leave it all here, you can expect it all out there. It doesn't work the other way around. You can't half-ass it here. Expect anything else out there but a half-ass life. Wake up. That's set one. You gotta be like a sculptor here, guys. You got a bunch of clay and stuff. You mold it to how you want it to be. You don't come in here blind, man. You come here with a vision. Every action has a purpose. Therefore, every action has a result. All you guys want bigger arms and you go there and you curl for the girls and stuff. You're missing the message, man. That's why 30% of the volume of the arm. If you want bigger arms, you gotta hit the triceps. 70% of the arm. Three guys in the arm war. The first battle is biceps, the second one's triceps, and now we're back to biceps. It's going bice, tries, bice, tries. Why is that? You get the pump in the front, pump in the back. It's like a springboard effect. They complement each other very well. What we got here is a super set for the biceps. It's going to bring preacher curl, dead hand curls, to a guillotine curls. I'll show you what that is. The preacher curl, you might think this is backwards, man. Hell no. MFT, we don't have seats. You haven't, just, you haven't even earned the right to sit the down yet. Don't even think about sitting down. That bar goes right there. We're coming on the reverse side here, guys. Preacher curl, we're gonna put our armpits, bury them right in there. Why is that? It takes the momentum out of it. We're trying to isolate the bicep. How do we ensure that happens? We start hitting failure and we don't incorporate some other muscles. We bury our armpits in here deep. The only way this, this comes up is by the will of the biceps and the mindset. That's the only way this thing comes up. It can't come up any other way. Notice my grip placement here on this bar. We're gonna start inside, then go outside, then go back to inside. Same with the guillotine curl. Set one, here we go. Coming down here, straight back up. All biceps. Notice 
I'm not swaying the guys and controlling them the way down. And the way up. Uh. Right, into our guillotine curls, man. I call them guillotine curls because, like, kind of back in the French Revolution, they used to put their head down there and that, that, that machete would come down and decapitate them. Kind of like the same mechanics here. Put some weight on here. We grab a bar and we'll come underneath as if this is the blade going to come down and cut our head. Bring this guy right down to our forehead here. Again, this portion of the arm stays locked. It doesn't start rotating back or forward. That's the back working. We're trying to work the bicep. Come in here, close grip this time. Straight down to the top of our forehead and then back up. This is really working the peaks, the height of the bicep. Good thing about the guilty curls we've done, kind of. Get like a little elevator, go right up. Right there, guys, that's step one, man. Controlling the way down. Feel the burn, love that burn, man. That burn is the heat of transformation. Transforming you from who you were to who the hell you want to be. Four, exercise four, back to triceps, guys. We got a three-part superset of tricep here. We're gonna start with the dumbbell. It's gonna be doing French curl over our head, extension right there. You're working the long head, the biggest muscle of the tricep. Anytime you're going overhead, that's what's gonna hit there. Right when we do that, we're gonna drop the uh, dumbbell right down. We're gonna come close. Close grip body push-ups right here, working the inner part of our chest and also the lateral and long head portion of the tricep. As soon as we finish that, the third part of the superset, grabbing our dumbbells right here. We're gonna lock them out, the dumbbell kickbacks. There we go. We're gonna grab this dumbbell. We're gonna put it right on top of our chest. All I want you to notice here is my hand placement for safety. You can either grab it behind like that with both hands are right there, or you can lock your thumbs around it to be a little more secure. That's what I like. So right up here, man, arms locked. Elbows are gonna stay tight to our, our head. I'm not gonna flare out here, kinda tight. Bring it right down to the base of our, our, of our back and back up. Just like this. Side here, coming up, right over top of it, kind of pop your chest out. Pop that out right here, keep it up front there, bring it down. Here we go. Coming down. Oh, how about that? Set right here, man. For some, that's good enough. That's enough of a set. Not for MFT, man. I'm not even there yet. Kickbacks. 
both together, hold it, print and pause, back down, or do individuals. Right hand, left. It's imperative when you guys do this, the upper arm just locks to itself. This part just turns into like a pendulum of a clock. Don't start doing this, man. You're going to start working your back. We're not trying to work your back, we're trying to work the triceps. So lock it to the side here, push it back out, bring it back down to control. Finish off, leave some together. Set one, man. Again, we have three of them, guys. 90 seconds, we have two minutes at the very most. Dive into set two, guys. Exercise five, man. We're gonna do floor curls on the low pulley system here, straight to concentration curls, right side, left side. We're gonna go come here, put our pin in, come back here, our feet are gonna go right on this bar here, right here. That's a support factor. Again, guys, we're gonna come inside on some of these sets and then outside, back and forth. Bury that up, man. Hitting the inside and the outside head of the biceps. We're gonna bring this guy back here, come down nice and flat. Nice and flat, see? I can't cheat here, I can't do anything. You look like a retard if you try to. You just lock it in right here, okay? Come in here, you're gonna bring it straight up to your nose and then back down. The only way it comes up, guys, is biceps, man. Right here, we're about shoulder width right now. So we're hitting both the inside and the outside portion. We're on a flat bar grip. Hit both heads pretty neutral. I love exercises where the form is locked in. In all honesty, the free weight motion stuff, you get the most growth out of that. You guys get to lock in second and third tier muscle groups to control the form, to ensure you're strict. All the way down and then all the way back up. You see a lot of guys are curled to come to here and then back up, here and back up here. What does that form? It forms an entire bicep gap and the elbow and the start of the bicep, full range of motion, man. You got more bicep from here to here. Make sure you hit that up, man. Again, the form is your fastest way to the growth you want. Late in the game where our muscles are getting fatigued and stuff, I love hitting exercise like this that locks that form in so we don't need to think about it. We just go as hard as we can and the form is locked in. All right, when we finish that, man, no time with the present. Grab our dumbbell, man, concentration curls. Two ways to do it. One, you just let the arm hang dead here and you just bring it straight up and straight back down. Another version, you grab a bench or do it standing where your elbow will go right into your kneecap here and you curl from here. I don't like that. I like the dead hand. Two things you want to avoid. One is any kind of swaying. We don't want to rock it up. Momentum must be out of the picture. We're trying to target the muscle, not the momentum. The second portion is you're fine when you get tired. Your elbow will start pulling in this way. We want to try to eliminate that, guys. As we pull that in, that's working our back. We want to work the bicep. So we want to stay in plane right here. This elbow more or less stays exactly right there. Here we go. Both sides. This is really working the peak, the height of the bicep, guys. This hand right here, it's right here bracing myself. Controlling the form. In control the whole time. I'm starting to hit failure here, guys. I see my elbow naturally coming in. So to prevent that, I'm gonna use this hand as an assistant. I'm gonna bring it up and grab it and slowly bring it up together, maximizing it, going past failure. That's where the growth is, guys. Failure is where you currently are. You gotta break that barrier. Go past it. Be the person you wanna be. One. Switch it up, other side.
measure of who you are isn't found in the mirror, man. It's not throwing a set and looking in the mirror and be like, all your biceps or something else. That's not what you're about, man. The real pride, the real growth is when you close your eyes. You close your eyes and how you feel, man. That pump, that life, that you're on path. And someone who you used to be no longer acceptable, no longer suitable in your terms of success. You close your eyes, you feel that natural high. You're going places. You're on the path of excellence. It starts up here, man. In here, it's not about how big your bicep is, your chest, how big your nuts are. We grow this guy first, man. You grow that guy, everything comes together. The rest period is as imperative as the lifting period. That's the recovery. You ensure when you come back into the next set, you get maximum out of it. The muscles are failing, not you're winded and everything else. So in between sets, don't go around talking to everybody. Don't talk in here. When you don't talk in here, and you perform in here, guess what? When you go out there, you don't need to talk to you. Your actions speak for yourself. Welcome to burn. That burn is a glue of transformation. That's the heat, man. You want to rush to get the burn and then maintain the burn. The longer you're in the burn, the hotter it gets and the harder it dries. Right now, man, you're stuck in between of where you were and where you want to be. Don't rush to get out of the burn. That's why we're in this gym. Now to play it soft, to heat this shit up. Once it's hot, it starts to formulate into the fuck we want to be. Final battle, man, in the buys and tricep portion of this arm war. So when we started with the biceps, we start with the bang bar, ending with a tricep bang. Each one of these press downs hits everything, but it specifies one portion of it. There's three parts of the tricep. Let's hit them all, guys. First thing we want to do here, guys, bring this thing down. Our elbows are locked on the side. They don't move again. They don't come up. They don't come back. Come in here, full range of motion. A lot of you guys coming up halfway back down. What is that all about, man? Well, why, why would you go halfway? All the way up, full range of motion. We're here to win it, man. Exercise that. Also, the full range of motion increases your flexibility. Come in here, lock the form in right here. Stabilize it. Coming down, pregnant paws, and then coming back up. <sighs> Breathing. Exhale on the way down, <sighs> inhale on the way up. <sighs> Each one of these press downs hits everything, but it specifies one portion of it. If our hand placement is palms down, we're going straight down right here. That's the long head, the big head. If we grab our hand placement where our thumbs are higher than any other finger and we're coming down, that's the lateral head, this outside head right here. If we flip our grip around where our palms are now facing us and we're coming down, that's the medial head, the top head. Finish that up, man. Right to the rope. Thumbs high, man. We're the lateral head. Coming here. When we bring the rope down, we're going to split the rope on us, man. Coming down, splitting that rope all the way out. Back up. Full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. The negative and the positive retina, always in control. Oh, it's getting hot, man. Burning up. Now, instead of being palms down, we're gonna rotate it, palms facing us. Probably have to lighten the weight a little bit here, guys. It's all good. It's not about the weight, it's about the form, man. Down and back up. Now working the medial head. Burns alive, man. Oven's cooking up something special here. 
There is no greater high than somebody achieving their own goals, man. And some people shoot up for it. Some people snort it in here. We just sweat for it, man. And it builds on each other. You know, a foundation where the higher we get comes back and elevates our status, man. There's no negative things here. It's all positive forms of motion, man. When you put your body in motion like that, you can't but win. That's a mega set, man. That's a one, two, three set shot of excellence. A lot of you guys come to the gym, it's like, you know, if it ain't raining, you ain't training. If you ain't puking, you ain't, you know, that's all bullshit, man. The number one rule is you train smart first. That gets the most results, man. You'll get so much further in the same amount of time as some idiot coming in here just going through the motions. Don't be that guy, man. Be smarter than him. It's not all about the body, it's brain, mind-body connection. That's the winning combo. together for you guys we're almost there man we've crossed that final turn man the finish line is in sight man so stay with me we've blown out the biceps and the triceps on three different rotations of supersets the last portion that's part of the arm is this guy the forearms we got to blow out the forearms we've already really worked it a lot throughout this duration of this arm more workout now we're gonna really isolate it guys first thing we're gonna do is rope curls we're taking a low pulley here we're gonna bring it up as we bring it up we're gonna rotate it out the more rotation you can bring pinky outside, the pinky inside, you're hitting not only the lifting portion, but the rotational portion of the bicep. Two prong effect there, make sure you hit both of them. As soon as we finish that guys, we're gonna get on here on the bench, we're gonna do a lot of wrist curls. So this is what we're gonna do right now. Lock and load. Here locked in. I'm not doing all this stuff, man. This ain't no disco ball, man. It's a gym, man. Stop going parading around here like you're some princess, man. Be the servant in here. So when you leave here, you become the master. Right here, our wrists come right to the edge, man. We're gonna drop them down. Three part superset here. First is just the wrist curl, right? We're gonna hit that to basically failure. Our knees are coming in, locking our elbows in so they can't go anywhere. After we hit the wrist curl, we're gonna drop it down. We're gonna do finger curls. And then when we finish the finger curls, we're gonna put the bar here, we're gonna stand back up, and then we're gonna do rotations. Right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. And then the other way. It's gonna burn like you've never felt it before. Here we go. Forms are so imperative for the success of the back and the shoulders and everything else that you have grip strength so your grips don't fail and the muscles do fail. <sighs> it 
So good, man. So good. Bring it up. That's shoulder width right here. Right side coming back to you. Left side back to you. We're going to rotate. Oh. Now the other side. Rotate the other way. If that doesn't burn, man, check your pulse, you might be dead. That is, that's the way to end with a bang right there, man. Forearm smoked, but that's only set one. Big smile, big smile. standing here with me, I'll put my hands together for you. Congratulations, that means you just completed the mass routine, your morning workout for the arm series in the MFT 28. You might be exhausted right now. Your arms will swell up, you're all pumped up, man. Physically drained, mentally sharp. Came here with a mission at hand. You achieved that mission. You're still standing, ready for your next endeavor, man. That's success, man. You can do that every single day. That combines for a good week, a good month, a good year, a good life. Life remembered, guys. This workout, as hard as it is, man, you're only doing it four times, believe it or not. Four opportunities become better. If you half-ass one of them, man, then you only have three opportunities to become the person you want to be. This evening, we're going to do another arm workout, but it's a lot different than this. The reps, the weight, all changes. Same basic blueprint, but totally different, shocking the system up, more of a cardio base. You're also going to be doing your abs tonight, so you've got to look below to see about that abs special. You're going to love that one, guys. But you guys might be thinking, man, wow, man, two workouts a day, that's like impossible. Well, guys, you'll never know the limits of your possibilities until you chart the waters of the impossible. Ensure you set yourself up for success here, guys. Go to bodybuilding.com, download the entire MFT28 program. And for more workouts like this and over 200 hours of information, check out drakeplit.com, MFT28, where we're becoming more.